Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead again. I thought, you know, because, well, I start picking up the grandkids next week um, on Monday again. And me and AJ, well, we always stop at McDonald's. And we get him one of the um, potato cakes. And then, of course, Grandma eats something. And, well, that's not good for Grandma's weight either. So I thought maybe I'd try um, some no-bake peanut butter oatmeal bars and see if it's something that he likes. And if it is, breakfast, breakfast is served. All right, so we're going to take in my pan here, we're going to add one cup of honey. My honey is getting to where it crystallizes. But you know honey never goes bad, so if it does that, it's going to come out when it heats up, it'll be fine. Don't throw your honey out because it does that. And then we're going to add two cups of peanut butter. I want to tell you guys, you know, back in the day, it took one container of peanut butter, and that was exactly two cups. You know, now it's only a cup and a half. Just saying. So, those recipes you thought that used to be you could do two cups, and you'd have just one thing of peanut butter, no more. That doesn't work that way. All right. So, now we're going to put this on the stove we're going to want to do like a medium heat not anything real big because we want to um melt it completely and we're going to keep stirring it until it does so i will be back as soon as we get it melted all right now we want to stir in a teaspoon of vanilla get that stirred in with it Oh, it smells so good. Mm. So, so good. Alrighty. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put in three cups of oatmeal. I have to do a half a cup at a time cup won't fit down in my container. Here's one. A half. Two. Two and a half. And three. I keep it in my little love container that my ki my grandkids made for me. Well, their mom did, but it's for grandma. And we're going to stir all that together. This kind of reminds me of no-bake cookies. <laughs> Which, you know, I could never perfect those, honestly. Sometimes they'd turn out and sometimes they wouldn't. I should try making them again one day, just out of curiosity and see if I can do it. Us and the neighbor girls, we'd have like a, well, my dad was off to um, auctioneer school. He was gone for two weeks. So when my mom would go off to bingo, the girls down the road would come over and we would have, um, we'd watch movies and we wouldn't make no-bake cookies and popcorn. And actually, I'm still friends with all of them today. And one of them still lives across the street. So <laughs> We've been friends for 45 years. A long, long time. Now you're going to take an 8x8 pan. And make sure you spray it really, really good. Because we don't want it sticking. Then let me move you back here a little bit. Ta-da. And we're going to spoon that into the pan. Now it's going to be still hot, so be careful when you do this. I 
hope he likes this. I hope Grandma likes it. <laughs> How about that? A little bit of both. He could eat before he leaves his dad's house and he can eat at daycare too, but Grandma just likes to take him something or get him something. You know, it's a grandma's prerogative. <laughs> Believe me, he doesn't get starved anywhere. And then you're going to pack that down as tight as you can. Look at that. It's going to be awesome. I used to make things like this for Tom's lunch. I should start making it again. A little bit of hole there. That look pretty. All right, and then you're gonna take a quarter a cup of chocolate chips, and you're gonna sprinkle it all over the top. chocolate chip there. I'm going to press them down just a little bit, but again, be careful because this stuff is hot. Alrighty. And it's done. So now you just keep it in the refrigerator till it firms up and you slice it up and enjoy. So no baking, no nothing like that. And that's your no-bake peanut butter oatmeal bars for breakfast. You guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing. We'll see you tonight.